We're going to do a brief video on SBUX stock. That's Starbucks stock, and we've got a daily chart of Starbucks for you with a green five-day moving average, a red 20-day moving average, and a blue 200-day moving average. Starbucks is up today 8%, $6.97, trading at $91.65 today. And uh, volume is 12 million shares versus average daily volume, about 7.5 million shares. It's about a little after 12.30 on the 4th of November. Let's take a look real quick at this stock. Starbucks, as you can see, entered into a bear market with a rising 200-day moving average here. Excuse me, that's a weekly. Let's go to the daily. Here we are. We had a declining 200-day moving average, which Starbucks has been flirting with for a long time, all the way back here since the beginning of September. And today it looks like we're breaking out. We made a higher high today, just barely made it and uh, gapped up. Again, Starbucks up 8% today. So this is a really good sign for Starbucks. You'll notice that this is this is the way a stock should rally. It's putting a bottom back down here on in May. It got some support here in June. And it pretty much has been doing a pretty good job. Now, it started to stall as we approached the 200-day moving average and went sideways for quite a while, all the way from about August 15th. But this sideways movement, it, I mean, I'm not going to say it's not, it's not, it's normal. It's not normal. The stock was distributing through here. You can see this, this low right here was a lower low. And uh, when you have a lower low versus a higher high pr over here, that's distribution. But the stock now appears to be getting some new buyers coming in to push it up. So let's take a look and see what this is. This is $93.48. This is $93.60. Not a huge deal. We have to see if this will hold up. But in general, this is a positive sign for this stock. Let's take a look on the weekly chart and see what that looks like. We can see on the weekly chart that we've... If this stock closes this week above this 200-week moving average, that's going to be a really good sign. We have the 20-week under the price. We have the five-week under the price. Starbucks, it looks, it's not great, but it looks much, much better than most stocks. And it's got a shot to enter back into bull market territory above a 200-week moving average, which is really positive. Let's go take a look at the hourly chart. We can see this is a 200-hour blue line across here moving average and you can see Starbucks has been flirting with it for a very long time at least back here until the end of September and it's finally now really looks like it's starting to break out again here's your previous high of uh, 93.48 so it's got to come to several things it's got to come back down here it doesn't have to fill in this whole gap it's probably not going to but it's got to come back down here because it's really overbought right now so it's got to come back down here into the to the at least the high 80s 88 something like that work itself across in a reasonable way, and then make a sustained rally moving up. This is an hourly chart. If it does not do that, then what it's going to end up doing is just crashing. It's not, it can't, it can't stage, in my opinion, for entertainment purposes only, it can't stage a rally to get away from the 200 day moving average unless it corrects itself back down here. And, and on a daily chart, it's, uh, the correction is more like about 86. So it needs to come down here roughly to 88 to 86 dollars come across a few days, maybe a week, get some support and slowly start to work itself up just like it did here. You got to have sustained buying. You just can't have these crazy kind of ups and downs. So it's indeterminate as to whether or not Starbucks is breaking out of its range, but at least this is a, a, a reasonable uh, expectation would be that if it behaves correctly, Starbucks could be headed up higher. And if it does get some, get some, some retracement down to say 86 and then make new highs here, Starbucks could easily be a hundred dollar stock by the middle of December. That's just my opinion for entertainment purposes only. Let's take a look and see what RBM Research says about it. We put out one, five, and twenty day uh, entry prices for Starbucks every morning before seven a.m. Monday through Friday, and today they've put zeros across here, which means the algorithm didn't think it was a good day to buy. That was not correct, but at least it didn't uh, have a shorting it. So we put out a hundred and ninety stocks uh, entry prices for stocks. You can get them all at rbamresearch.com every morning before seven a.m. In addition to major forex pairs, BTC crypto, and the most liquid futures contracts, we put out entry prices that are algorithmically generated to get access to them for free. No credit card required. Just follow the link in the description below. Go to RBAM Research, put in your email address and get instant access to everything we cover. Keep in mind, everything you've seen and heard on here, including our entry prices, is for entertainment purposes only including my discussion, and you should always do your own analysis. You definitely trade at your own risk. If you have a stock symbol you'd like us to do some technical analysis on, just leave it in the comment section below. If we can get to it, we will get to it. And uh, uh, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well.